Alter Beast, Alter Me. Slay the mindset. Nanagon Infinity opens the door. Their depth and breadth may overwhelm you as we try to remember their name, but their path has led them to become arguably the most interesting band in the world and who we believe to be the future and saviors of rock. Find out why that is, as with a chance to win tickets to see this band live on this episode of Graphic Metal. Before we get started, for those who have no clue what we're talking about, we're talking about the band King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. And they are an Australian progressive rock band forming in 2010 via Melbourne. The band's lineup, which has remained steady since 2011, consists of Stu McKenzie on vocals, guitars, keyboards, flute, bass, guitar, percussion, sitar, piano, organ, violin, clarinet, saxophone, zerna, and drums. Stu is also the band's producer, which is very beneficial to match their vision and consistency. Joey Walker, vocals, guitar, bass, guitar, keyboards, piano, sitar, percussion. You got Ambrose Kenny Smith on vocals, harmonicas, keyboards, percussion, piano, saxophone, guitar, and organ. Cook Craig on guitars, bass, guitar, piano, keyboards, percussion, and vocals. Lucas Harwood, bass, guitar, piano, keyboards, percussion, and vocals. And Michael Caban on drums, percussion, and vocals. They have won 22 international awards and nominated for another 63. Pretty damn impressive. But enough of the basics. Why am I so convinced that they are the future and saviors of rock? Well, in honor of their love for Nonagons, here are our top nine reasons why. Number nine, thick volume. Just like your favorite shampoo, no band in history has worked harder than these jets, as, as evidenced by their released 26 studio LPs, plus three EPs, one remix, and 16 live albums in the span of just 14 years. You heard that correctly. Love Numbers, that's an average of two LPs per year, well ahead of Frank Zappa's pace. And for even better context, the Rolling Stones, who are in the top five highest output of all time, they have just only released 31 albums in their 62-year career. So unless we're talking, unless you want to count Buckethead's Pike series. When it's all said and done, King Gizzard is going to cruise past for the all-time record. Because they're the hardest working freakazoids in the in the flipping world. But fear, who cares? Isn't it quality over quantity? Number eight, high quality. I agree that our ears deserve only the highest of quality. And whereas they may release albums like it's burgers at McDonald's, they are all mighty tasty. Every release has been worthy, ambitious, and beautiful. With every element meticulously cared for using only the finest of ingredients. Okay, but many bands have pulled this off. Hello, Maiden. Number seven, diversity. Also somewhat true, but King Gizzard is doing this in a way that no one has, no one has ever even dared to attempt 
as they are clearly going for the label as being the most diverse band in history. The term progressive gets thrown around way too much these days. But when it comes to them, oh boy, we mean it. Each album is completely unique from one another. With at this point, collectively experimenting in roughly like 30 different styles of music, including, but not limited to, take a deep breath on this one, garage rock, acid rock, punk rock, surf rock, psychedelic rock, folk rock, jazz rock, blues rock, funk rock, jam, progressive rock, experimental rock, pop rock, synth pop rock, dream pop, electronic pop, electronica, techno, acid house, R&B, hip hop, soul, noise rock, grunge rock, stoner rock, heavy metal, progressive metal, doom metal, and thrash metal, and they are all freaking good at each and every one of them. Honestly, just saying that out loud is exhausting. But how often do you hear this? Oh, great in the studio, but crap entertainers. How can they possibly play all of this live, let alone be entertaining? Number six, entertaining. Oh boy, you bet they can. After all, in my opinion, they are a band that is a must see before you die. As someone who has seen them live now four times back in 2015, it's all in rain, and 17. As with a fifth coming in just a few days, I can attest to this. Ferocious and beautiful are what comes to mind. The combination of having the most diverse catalog that can tap into every possible human emotion. Songs that are equally experimental and catchy at the same time. The energy of a pink bunny the passion of kids learning something for the very, very first time, and the fact that all the members are basically all interchangeable. It's like having four frontmen in the band. All of this allows them to basically never for one second sound dull or repetitive, even when they are playing their lengthier sets, which they are known to do with their famous three plus hour shows, which I highly recommend if you are given the chance because a normal two hours just doesn't feel like enough with this thing. As if this weren't enough, just like Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, and Harry Potter, King Gizzard has a secret weapon, more like a rabbit hole, to disperse. Number five world building. The lure of the band comes with a deep-seated 
mysterious thematic story that's interwoven between both their visual and musical brand. For those who choose the path of Hantai Yomi, that is, is Kevin Feige will be the first to tell you how difficult it is to connect that many dots. I'll save the, you know, details of the King Gizzard universe story for another day. But let's just say it's been a hell of a ride. And only time will tell where, you know, where Han Tayomi will lead us to. Here's hoping we'll get to eat more of the soy protein munt machine, though, before we reach the Mars or wherever. <laughs> Be warned, though. If even the slightest opening of this door will probably get you hooked for life. Alter beast, alter me. I mentioned in the beginning of this episode that you'll have a chance to see this band live. King Gizzard live. Let's go. <laughs> well, here's your chance. Hidden within this episode are nine uh, lizards, as shown here. Find them, collect them, identify you know the timestamps of when they are shown, post it, be the first to collect all of them and correctly identify these timestamps, and win. Take us to see King Gizzard live. Okay, let's get back to it. Number four, art on art. Like all success, it's one part skill, one part effort, and three parts luck. These lucky lizards just happen to have the ultimate artist in their side pocket, in which bandmate Ambrose was friends with as part of like the skateboard clique in school. Jason Galea, remember that name, is absolutely critical to their success and future world domination. He is the visual artist for the band and has been since day one, just having a singular voice, consistent artistic voice, already is beneficial and extremely rare. I mean, just, just take a moment here. Like, think about it. How often has a band gotten the privilege to working with just one, this the same artist or producer for that matter, in their entire career, let alone both? You kidding me? That's, it's just kind of unfair let alone with such a skilled and multi-talented artist and visionary like Galea. He creates everything. He designs all the artwork for the albums, posters, t-shirts, I mean, you name it. He creates everything. He even has created most of the music videos. So essentially, the entire band's brand visually has been created by this one singular person. That is a potent combination. And side note, that's the reason why I'm here to make your brand the best it absolutely can be. Think of me as your own personal Jason Garea for the future. <laughs> so reach out if you're interested, we'd be glad to help. Email us at graphicmetal at gmail.com. Back to King Gizzard and Gaia. They feed off one another perfectly and is undeniably their secret weapon, which has allowed both their musical and visual brand to reach limitless heights. Not to mention the collector's dream. <laughs> Star Wars has nothing on these lizard wizards. <laughs> so it seems, okay, theoretically possible for the lizard mania to continue and to potentially take over the world. But what about the band themselves? Can they survive this, you know, so to speak, takeover? Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but apparently this, this crew went out to um, the desert and um, they came across a, um, a king gizzard and he said, you are the lizard wizards. And then from that day forth, <laughs> they became king gizzard. You better check yourself in. The mirage is creeping upwards from the tree. Can't you see I'm gone insane? Number three, chemistry. Sure seems like they can. Select the greatest musicians of your choosing in history. 
and bring them together and they probably will not be able to match the output that King Gizzard has done up to this point. Having six or seven talented, interchangeable blokes who all can sing, write, play multiple instruments, who have all been together since day one, feed off one, one another with complete ease, and genuinely actually seem to like one another. What a rare concept in, 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 in bands. <laughs> Put it this way. If the castle hasn't crumbled in 26 albums, why would we not believe that there's another 26, let alone like 260 albums yet to still come? Just saying. Chemistry can never be understated, and this band has it in spades. Oh, and I already kind of alluded to this, but we're gonna double click on this because this is a, this is a critical point to understand. One of the members is also their, you know, sound engineer, mixer, and producer. They get to work with the same producer. We've already mentioned that they get to work with the same designer, and not just a designer, but a designer that's just as you know skilled and multi-talented as you are as a musical band. You own also the rights to all your music. What about your label, Flightless, Eric? Oh, is, yeah. this, is this the one release from Flightless? Um, oh, we've actually had a couple. Um, and they re-changed the name to, what is it? Um, oh yeah, P parentheses, doom, parentheses, it's the whole like doomsday situation from an AI standpoint. Seems very fitting for them to do that. I understand why they changed it to that. <laughs> but nonetheless, basically, they've been on their own record distrib distribution and they own the rights to all their music. I mean, that this is just, to have that much chemistry, to have that much, you know, visionary focus and consistency, and you own your own music, are you kidding me? Their imagination has literally no boundaries. And they have a lot of imagination. Impressive, I'll give you that. But what about their, you know, their reach though? I mean, after all, they're just a, you know, trippy lizard prog band. How can they possibly reach that many people? This ain't the 70s anymore, you know? Like Number two, internationally related. Their best quality might just be this. I say that they are, you know, what ready to take over the world, but they themselves don't give a rat's ass. Yeah, well, I mean, it's surely the recognition is nice, right? Um, yeah. I mean, it's just a number. They're just a bunch of humble artists who just want to release, and, you know, their creative ideas and nothing more. This is quite frankly what the world needs more of, is humble artists. Please. Please. <laughs> we all, I think we all resonate to, you know, just genuine authenticity, effort, and creativity. Don't you? It's why I think that, I think it is why they've been so relatable. It's, it's not just that they're... Uh, you know, musically gifted and talented. I mean, that's kind of been the knock on progressive bands that, okay, sure, they're talented, but that doesn't mean they're relatable. I feel like the, this band is extremely related, relatable. We are visual creatures, right? They are very visually appealing. Their music is so diverse that it's almost impossible for there not to be something for someone. You like stories? Oh boy, they got that in spade. You like puzzles? You betcha. They welcome us all. Whether you're old, young, lyrics, no lyrics, complexity or simplicity, those who like it, you know, heavy or soft. I'll add even a bonus one. I think it actually helps that they're from Australia because it allows them to bypass the BS critical you know, stigma that bands from America or Britain get. But most importantly, is that over the past, you know, now 10 some years that I've been a fan of this band, not once, not a single damn time have I ever heard a bad lip about this band. Kind of remind me of like your childhood best friend. Right? They're just always loyally there for you, no matter what. There's always King Gizzard. Number one, right timing. They are one of the only rock bands 
that have actually, you know, benefited and thrived from this otherwise, like, dry climate. You see, if it weren't for, you know, like, the internet, none of us outside of Australia would probably have ever even known about this band. Online shopping has allowed all their goodies, and boy do they have a lot of them, for us to shop and get. Heck, the ability to unpack and understand this whole Nonagon Infinity business, their, their universe, this lore, the story, would not be possible if it weren't for the larger in life expanded collaborative community in the likes of YouTube or, or Reddit, right? Most importantly, is that there's, there's, there's absolutely no way in hell that they could have pulled all this off. All these different styles at this output pace, there's no way they could have done that if it weren't for the advancements that we've made on you know our access, our, our capabilities, and the tools that we have today. Just saying. And just like it's their time, it's never been a better time for you if you haven't already done so to crack open that Nanagon Infinity door. See what they have in store for you. They have proven to be likely the most interesting band in the world right now and probably the saviors of rock. Here's to you, King Gizzard. We love and appreciate everything that you, you know, Galea and Hantayomi do does for us. Altered Beast, Alter Me, Slayer Mind, Nanagon Infinity. Thank you.